Hey, what's going on guys? And in today's video, our main clip is going to be a woman that realizes that Kevin Samuels was right all along. Before we get into that main video, there are other clips that we are gonna be breaking down that are very important for us to learn from as men. If you, this is your first time to the channel, guys, welcome, my name is Albert. Don't forget to hit this video with a like. Any comments you guys have, leave it for me in the comment section below. Without further further ado, let's jump into our first clip. Okay, imagine you're dating this guy, right? And he's asked you out on a date, and all he said is that he's made reservations and he sorted it all out, and all you have to do is get ready, and he's gonna pick you up at eight. So eight o'clock comes, you're ready, you're looking cute, and he comes over and he's picking you up, and the first thing he says is how gorgeous you look, and he's literally gushing about how beautiful his date you are. And then you go to his car, he opens the car door for you, you get in, and you drive to the restaurant. He's taking you to a restaurant that he knows you'll love because he paid attention when you were saying what your favorite cuisine was. You go in, he's off his phone, he's not looking around at anyone else. His attention is 100% on you and you guys are having the best conversation and eating delicious food. Mm. The combo is flowing. You guys are just asking each other questions and getting to know each other on a deeper level. It's great vibes. The end of the dinner comes. He gets the bill like a gentleman and then you walk out and he drops you home. Yes, sir, you said that you wanted to take it slow. So he's being super respectful of that, not suggestive at all. And all he wants to do is make sure that you get home safe. Before you walk through the front door, he assures you as to how much he actually enjoyed the day and how much he can't wait to see you again. And then surprise, the next day he texts you again because he actually wants to see you again and he's following through with what he said. Okay, have you imagined all of that? The whole scenario I've just said, yeah? Yeah. That is literally the bare minimum. If the guy you are dating is not doing any of that for you, mm. dump him. So now we see... Guys, when I tell you do not listen to women for dating advice, this, this is the exact reason why. If you do... And if you do everything that she said, this is the best way to get fleece. This is the best way for you to get frustrated in dating. This is the best way for you to start going your own way. This is the best way that you are going to start getting jaded because you're going to be dealing. If, if you do this, the majority of women are going to use and abuse you. They are going to put you in that foodie date category. If you do exactly what she's telling you, and here is the thing, she even undermined her statement by saying that is the bare minimum. So all of those things that she said that a man should do is the bare minimum for a woman that you do not know. Guys, do not listen to this. What I say is that, look, you have to keep your investments low. Because at the end of the day, if you go on a date with a woman and you realize that you guys are just not connecting, the best thing is, you know what, you just cut, uh, cut your losses and you're out. You know, you didn't, you didn't have to spend 300 upwards of a hundred dollars to 300, $400 on a date just to find out that you guys were not com uh, compatible. Okay. And again, I'm not saying if a woman is your girlfriend or she's your wife, that you should not be splurging, taking her out too fast. Yes. If she's your girl, if a woman is your girl and you guys are dating, yes, of course, splurge on her, take her out for you know, expensive dinners. Sure. That's your girl, but a girl that you just met, nah, miss me with that. And I, and I, and I will tell you guys, guys, don't do not do all of that. And on the first day you are, you are opening yourself up to get fleeced and robbed and be taken advantage of. She said women can date men outside of their league because men have no standards. Mm. This is the juncture when I, I have to say these countless times that men and women are completely different. What am I trying to say? We speak, we speak the same language, but the interpretation of those languages is completely different. When a woman dates a man, mm -hmm. it's always about what does she, what, what, what can she benefit from the man? This is the reason why women care more about safety and security mm. because she benefits from those things. I am a software engineer and I own a tech company. My girlfriend, the one I am in love with, the love of my life, huh. she works at a coffee shop. She doesn't make... Women will believe that I am settling for less. Mm. But I am not. Mm. Because what I want from her, mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with money, accomplishments, or boss, babe. I don't care about those things. Mm. No man does. So men have standards. It's just that our standard is completely different. From your standard as a woman you care about money from a man i don't mm. i don't even care if she's homeless am i making sense and it it 
it would probably it probably doesn't make sense to you because you're a woman but once you start ste stepping outside of yourself yeah and looking at things from the perspective of a man you understand how men think mm. men have a lot of standards and we have a lot of expectations that we place on women a lot of them yeah and the majority of women in the society they are not up to that standard mm. this is the reason why we will sleep with you and kick you off because you have nothing else to offer a man Ooh. so when a man event especially when a man start making money mm. when he meets a woman that is superior and when i say superior i'm not talking about superior than he is Make it i'm clear. talking about an a apex woman which is top tier woman mm -hmm. she can walk at the toilet and be a superior woman but most women think that you know when you have money that makes you superior you know, he has a fantastic point. A lot of women think that men do not have standards. And and the way he describes it, the way he said, the way he describes it is just perfect. Just, I, 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 can't, I, I can't even add anything to it because it was just so concise and perfect. Our standards, what women see in men as their standard and what we see in women, what our standard is, are two totally different things. And women don't understand it. I see this all the time. Women would ask me, oh, why did he, why did he ghost me? Because he did not see anything of value in you. Trust me, ladies, once we, trust me, there is so much trash out here that once a man sees a woman that has value, true value, not the degrees, not the PhD, not the money. No, we don't care about all of that. Once a man sees a woman of value, he wants to protect that. He wants to keep it because he understands that there's so much trash out here. Let me help you ladies out. For any lady that ladies that happen to stumble upon my 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 videos, what do we men see as standards? She's not argumentative. She's feminine. She's submissive. She listens to him. She does not disrespect him. Guys. Ladies, let me tell you guys something. Disrespect is, having respect for your man is not, oh, I respect him in good times. I, you should be respecting your man even when you have disagreements with him. It doesn't matter where you guys are. Even if you have a disagreement with your man, you should still have respect for, for that man to have normal this, this discourse with that man. Not yelling, not insult, insulting him, calling him out of his name, embarrassing him in front of his family. Then you don't respect that man. Oh no, I respect my, I respect my man until I, he's, 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 he says something that I don't agree with. Until he annoys me. Until he does something I don't like. That's not res, 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 that, that that is not respect. And women don't understand this. When we find a woman that is our peace, that is that is our standard as a man. A woman that's gonna be our peace, a woman that is feminine, submissive, that is going to follow our lead, that is not gonna give me a headache, that is not gonna be argumentative, that is not gonna be try to try to be more masculine than I am. That isn't gonna disrespect me at every turn. That listens. That's the standard for us. Not, oh, I'm a boss, babe. I have 10, 10 uh, uh, degrees. I've done this and that. No. I am a 51-year-old single mom who lives at home with my parents, and I'm the happiest I have ever been. No. What? Come on. You don't want to go to bed? It wasn't always this way, so stick with me here. After graduating from college, I moved a lot and often far from home. I spent most of my adult life working as a broadcast journalist. I had a dream career. I worked at CNN's Headline News for seven years. I've interviewed phenomenal women like Janet Jackson and Misty Copeland. I've lived in New York, Doha, Qatar, and traveled to fabulous cities around the world. From the outside looking in, my life probably looked pretty amazing. And sometimes it was. The reality is more complex. I was often alone, expecting to meet a great guy and start a family. When that didn't happen, I decided at age 43, it was time to freeze my eggs. And then at 46, it was time for IVF using those eggs and sperm from a sperm bank. 
You think Bumble is stressful? Try picking sperm. When IVF didn't work, I decided it was time to adopt. I kept telling myself the right baby would find me, but eventually realized leaving Doha could improve my odds of being matched with the baby. And that is exactly what happened. Within eight months of leaving my dream job and moving home to my parents' studio apartment above the garage in Houston with no job lined up, I met my beautiful baby boy, Avery. The journey is not how I planned it. This is where a lot of women actually, they realize that society has lied to them. Are there women out there that don't want to get married, that want to live that single life until they're 70? Yes, there are women like that. But there are women like this woman that believed in the propaganda, like, hey, you know what's empowering? Your career. Your career and money will bring you happiness. And the problem is not that there are women that get fulfillment from the career and the money that they make and the things that they acquire in life. That is not the problem. The problem is when women like this that actually want to have a family, that actually see, see value in having a family life, a husband and a child, growing old with, with a partner. The problem is when those women start believing what these other women have been lying to them for years in the media. That is what the problem is. When I see situations like this, I don't feel, I feel, I don't even want to say I don't feel bad for them, but it's like, it's like, you cannot believe propaganda. You have, ladies, you have to think for yourself. Ladies, you have to think for yourself. Don't just, just, don't just get spoon fed from the media and then you go, oh, okay, that's, oh, that's what I like. And then when you're 50 years old, 52, or like the, the woman in the clip, I don't know, maybe she was like 44 or 45. Now you're wondering, oh, I need to freeze my eggs. Oh, the freezing, the IVF didn't, uh, did, uh, did not work. Surprise, surprise. It's so funny. Women start freezing their eggs at 42. If you're going to freeze your eggs, why don't you freeze them earlier when you're in your early thirties or maybe even when you're 30, at least you have viable eggs there. Then waiting till like, like you're 42 and then like, oh, okay, now I'm going to freeze my eggs. You know, but women were attacking Kevin Samuels when he was telling them, look, do not prioritize your career. If you want a family, if you don't want a family, that's fine. That is fine. But if you want a family as a woman, do not prioritize your career. Do not prioritize. Okay, fine. You'll get a job. Sure. By 26, fine. You've gotten, you've gotten your degree. Now you're working at your job. Now you need to now start prioritizing family life. Or whether if, if you're in your career, you still need to be trying to find that husband, trying to get that family life. But again, I'm not saying if, if you want to be single to your 70 and you want to have cats and just, you know, pass away alone, that's fine. I, no, I, nobody will, will judge you for that. But if you're that lady out there that goes, you know what? One day I want to have a family. You need to stop prioritizing that sooner. Tell you, man, Kevin Samuels was right. Guys, that is the video for today. If you have not already, guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Guys, any comments you guys have, leave it for me in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit this video with a like. Any questions you guys have, you guys can send me an email. My email is in the description box below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.